Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey, welcome back. Y'all already know for what? A quick little video. So with that being said, y'all, we can ready to jump right into what? This video. So y'all, I happen to, you know, get the little notification that uh, Gerard has decided to actually um, go live on his Instagram. Okay. So when I had the chance to, you know, go ahead and slide my little self up on over there, basically what was going down was Ryan's birthday. Yeah, it was going down over there, okay? I mean, they had a whole entire family. I mean, they were over there loving on each other. It was such a beautiful, beautiful thing. All right. Um, and wait a minute. Let's go ahead and get into, wait a minute, these decorations, okay? Now, what got me was, you know what I mean, the whole little uh, sign, you know, the happy birthday sign that they had. I mean, I thought that that was cute, okay? I thought that that was on some exclusive official, you get what I'm saying, birthday stuff. That was real, real cute, okay? Now, we already know the brains behind this actual birthday party was nobody other than what? As Liv likes to call her, the B-I-T-C-H, Nisha. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure Nisha went head on and stuck her foot in it to let them know, like, bitch, I got this. I got this. I got your husband. I've got your kids. And I've got this whole situation. So the woman that you came on here and you said, well, over the phone, well, you know, how can you say this and you don't have any kids? Okay. But what I'm going to say to you, Liv the Stallion, Anisha ran circles around you. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I can say this is because the fact that she did. And because we have seen birthdays that you have done with your children. And I have not seen never out of one have a party the way that Gerard and Nisha had for your baby girl. Mm -hmm. Never. Only thing, like I said, normally is you'll just go ahead and get at a table, push a cake and some ice cream out, take some pictures, post them on Instagram. They go back to their room and you go back on live doing the bullshit that you're doing and lying. Mm -hmm. That's all you would have done. Okay. But see, sometimes what has to happen is, Certain people, they have to bring you down and show you like, look, we not even on the same level. And I'm going to tell you some real shit. You and Nisha definitely are not on the same level. So anyway, you had the decorations. Um, you know, the cake was beautiful. The cupcakes. I mean, everything. It was beautiful. Okay. But what I really, really, really um, adored was the fact that Gerard had on um, a shirt and the kids had on the same shirt wishing happy birthday. I thought that shit was real, 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 real cute. Okay, I thought it was cute. <laughs> yeah, so that's how it was going down. So once I seen the decorations, once I seen, you know, the shirts, I didn't even see the cake. I said, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's about to go down, okay? So then I seen the cake. I said, yeah, it's definitely going down. Then Gerard tried to, you know, bend the corner. So when he bent the corner, you got a whole water, you know, doohickey and everything. I said, oh, okay. I said, he is doing the shit. <laughs> Later on, Nisi decided to go ahead and grace herself, you know what I mean, with her appearance. But y'all, let me tell you what got the shit out of me. <laughs> what got the shit out of me, Liv the Stallion, bring your face closer, bring your ear closer. Okay, come on up a little closer. Okay, bring Raquel too because she seemed to have so much to say in your last live about uh, Gerard being, uh, 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 you know, an ass and everything. So you too bring yourself on up. Okay, if Stella with the boots want to come up, come on up, baby. <laughs> So what really got me was the fact that you said that your kids, you know, were scared. You said that 
they were scared of their father and you know you were scared of their safety okay so what got me was the fact that your uh little your uh, baby mm -hmm, she was sitting on nisha's lap all curled up nisha caressing her without a problem <laughs> Olivia, I said, oh, Olivia, how did you feel about that? I mean, they were fucking besties, okay, besties, all right. So the part where you were saying that, you know what I mean, you were scared for their safety and they were scared of Gerard? No, I, I don't think that they were scared of Gerard, and I absolutely think they adore Nisha. Mm -hmm. <laughs> While you were over there hugging on your Easter Bunny and Zolo, the baby was over there, had her little head right on Nisha like, <sighs> This is so peaceful. <sighs> I'm having the best birthday ever, guys. Yeah, that's exactly, you know, you know what I mean, how she was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I said, look at this shit right here, okay? And then they did a real cute, you know what I'm saying, little picture together where it was Nisha, the kids, and Gerard in it, right? Now, I know this pissed you off even more, okay, Liv the Stallion, okay? I, I already know it did. So, you, you, like I said, they all looking cute, you know what I'm saying, in a little t-shirt ensemble, which you would have never, ever, ever fucking done. All right. So, you know, yeah, so they are looking all cute, and, you know, their little t-shirt ensemble, and um, they're taking the picture. So, while they're taking the picture, Nisha is on the other side, and her hand is right on Christian. Yeah. Okay. You know, a nice little family, you know, get together. Okay. And I'm going to tell you, Liv the Stallion, that that picture came across so family-like. I loved it. Okay. I think that you could learn a lot from when the kids go to Nisha and Gerard, when it, you know, on how to be a parent and how to treat a child. Okay. Because your child, your, because your channel is actually a um, family channel. And um, we don't ever see anything family-like on your channel. No, we don't. Let me think about it. I'm done. No, we don't. Mm -mm. No. No. The closest thing we see to family-like on your channel, Liv the Stallion, is basically when uh, Zolo is over there and y'all going back and forth handing that Easter Bunny to each other. That's the only family um, shit that we, we, we've seen on your channel. Mm -hmm. So, my thing, Liv the Stallion, what I want to know, do you think it made sense for you to perform the way that you have been performing? Do you think it made sense to you to prolong this um, uh, uh, divorce? Uh huh. Do you think it made sense to you to get onto this camera? All right, and perform and perform and say that your kids were scared of Gerard and they were not safe. Okay, because see, Liv, we have caught you in a whole nother lie. Mm -hmm. Because what we watched yesterday, the kids, like I said before, they were nowhere near scared to be with Gerard. Not only were they nowhere near to be scared, they were not scared of Nisha as well they wasn't scared and see if you would have been the parent that you needed to be instead of acting like an immature brat then you would have been at that party as well and then maybe Nisha would not have been holding Ryan and you would have been there to hold her okay so what I want you to take from this live the stallion Mm -hmm. is that you might as well let it go. Mm -hmm. You don't treat this like your weight because you don't want to let that go. Treat this like, you know what I mean, that coke and stuff they say you be sniffing, you just go ahead, sniff it up, and let it go. This is another situation where it's time to go ahead and lay back and stop acting like a child and let it go. Because therefore, you are not there to take care of your children. I am pretty sure it is sometimes where Gerard has to step out for something and he has Nisha there with the kids because you know why she has proven that she will not do anything to harm his kids. So there are there's multiple times where she's going to have those kids. And if you are going to continue to be nasty and nasty, 
it's not going to work out. It, it's not going to work out at all. So what I would say to you is, again, get yourself together. Because I already know when your children decide to come back, being as though they are tr being treated with the utmost care uh -huh, and nurturing, that's what's going on over there. You can tell on their face they look happy. Like I said before, your children, facial expressions look very happy. Your children don't even look like the way when they are with you, the way they are with Gerard and Nisha. You can clearly tell a difference. And if we can tell the difference, then what you need to do is you need to correct yourself. Instead of calling, you know, people bees and all that type of stuff and trying to drag Gerard through the streets over and over, I'm here to tell you, live the stallion, it's not working anymore. It's not working, okay? I watched on your birthday, whereas though you came onto the camera or whatever and you were in your room and Zola was outside, okay? So the entire time that you were in your actual room, okay, and your so-called man that you love so much. I mean, I don't know no man, all right, that is going to let you sit there and continuously talk about your ex, okay? We have seen it. I have seen Zolo with the Easter Bunny on his lap, you sitting right there, and you are on camera talking about your ex-husband. Okay, I don't know no man that does that. That lets me know that Zolo, he is not on the same page as you think that he is. Okay, mock my words, you are going to wish that you have never, ever, ever, ever met Zolo. Mm -hmm. That's definitely what's going to be happening. I give it by the end of the summer, it is going to be some bullshit that is getting ready to break itself all the way down. Mm -hmm. Most men would have pulled you up on that within one video after you was done and said, look, check this out. You're not going to keep sitting right beside me talking about your ex-husband. Okay, that right there when you did that live, you can tell, girl, you are still in love with some damn Gerard, and you are so, so spiteful. It doesn't make any sense. When Gerard comes back and drops those kids off, I can guarantee you how you are, how you are acting, how you acted when it was going down. You ain't going to let Gerard speak to them kids. You ain't going to let the Ger Gerard speak to them kids at all. I mean, you... You need to grow the fuck up. That's what you need to do. You need to grow up. You are 31 years old. You are running around here acting like you are 10 years old and a half. That's exactly how you are acting. You don't want this person to talk to your kids. You. It reminds me of this right here. Y'all remember when y'all was like a little kid? Because little kids still do it now. My little cousin's right. So I, I might be babysitting them or somewhere where, you know, they all playing and all that shit, right? So then one to come up and say, Reese, he's looking at me and start crying and shit. And I'm like, so the fuck what? He looking at you. Go sit your ass down. That's the type of shit you are. Mm -hmm. You don't want nobody looking at your kids. You don't want nobody else touching them. You don't want nobody to do that. Hey, you don't want nothing. Okay, and for what I've seen, them kids are better off where they are at right at this given time. So with that being said, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and slide on up off of here, y'all, and I'm going to see all you beautiful people in what the next video. Later.